My name is Elisa Vulpes, also known as Elisa de Napoli, that's my uh, birth name. And I am a um, basically a libre therapist. I'm also a singer, songwriter, drummer. And uh, I want to talk about the dangers of comparison, of comparing yourself to other people. Um, a lot of the time, I think the trap here is to think that <clears throat> if you don't compare yourself to others, then you'll just get stuck in uh, in a rat and not be able to um, better yourself. But the problem is with that, that there's always going to be somebody that is better than you uh, in some area or that you think is better than you in some area regardless of what they might feel themselves and not only that's just an assumption that's likely not to be true anyway but also it's irrelevant and it's very um, damaging to your self-esteem in fact the problem is when you get stuck in comparison with other people you use a lot of the energy that you could use to actually better yourself uh, feeling sorry uh, for yourself, feeling depressed about the fact that you are not up to standard. So it's a losing game. And I think, you know, it's much better to, if you really want to compare yourself, um, to compare yourself to yourself yesterday. And what I mean by that is look at where you were before and look for where you have improved. Now, some people might think, well, why should I just look at where I've improved and not look at all the things I'm doing wrong? Well, the reason is our minds, um, whatever you focus your mind on will expand. So think about it this way. You know, your mind is sort of like a garden, right? And whatever you plant in this garden will grow. So are you going to plant weeds or are you going to plant a beautiful apple tree or flowers, something that pleases you and that uh, makes you happy. Um, I think it would be much better to do the latter than just plant weeds, focusing on all your faults and all the things that you do wrong. This doesn't mean that you're not aware that there are things to work on, but self-acceptance is number one uh, prerequisite for getting better and improving your skills at anything. So I think um, if you really need to do something um, to better yourself, then try and be kind, try and be soft, uh, soften up a little bit. And just remember that when self-criticism happens, it is actually a alarm bell it is it is a part of you that's trying to um, nurture you is trying to parent you and uh, the way that you're treating yourself and the way that you're talking to yourself uh, is simply a habit is conditioned by how you were treated uh, as a as a kid you tend to talk to yourself in the way that your primary caregivers talk to you so this doesn't mean that that can't be changed but you be, have to be aware um, of what's going on and and be willing to then change the way you talk to yourself so that's uh, my advice my the homework would be soften up be encouraging to yourself stop all comparisons and notice what you're actually doing right so you can start doing more of that okay that's uh, all for me today have a wonderful day and do something creative just for yourself and you'll probably feel a lot